same things, but you'll see it translate from those prior videos into this video here, and then it'll help you going forward as you continue mastering your fades. So as you go around the head, you, you want to comb through just to make sure you have the hair direction, and you make sure that there isn't any thing on the scalp that may be of concern or any open lesions or anything like that you know that you need to be aware of but in this case there's not so what we're going to do is start so we got this clipper all the way open nothing on it so we're going to take that we're going to put this first line in So we're going to do that all the way around. Make sure it's nice and clean. So we always want to make sure we go back and clean as we go. Clean as we go. So I'm going to go to the back here. And just for teaching purposes, we're going to leave this just like this. So this side I'm going to leave completely untouched. And we're going to do all of our blending on this side just so you can see the contrast and see exactly how everything works. Now we're going to take this one and a half. Obviously we just had this opened all the way, which is pretty much like a one closed, but just for good measure. I'm going to go ahead and take this one just a little bit above this just so you can get the point that it's very close in size because sometimes people come back to me and they say hey well that's not really the same size but as you can see here as I just took it up you can barely see anything right so I just took it up a little bit right with that so you can barely see like you may see a little bit of a tiny line but you can barely see anything so that verifies that this one eighth closed is similar to this being open it's very similar it's almost the same thing and what I just did verifies that so now we're gonna skip ahead to this one and a half which we know is a little higher than that one Okay, so now we have our second line. Now we're going with the two. And normally what we do is we'll skip from the one right to the two when we're putting in our levels. But as I've talked about before, the one and a half is in between that. So that's why you see that the um, contrast is not that big of a difference because we went from the one to the one and a half to the two. Okay, and now we're going to go from the two to the three. So we got our first level, second level, now we're going to put our third level in. to this too because when I was right here I didn't come back far enough all the way to the back so now we got the two now we're back to our three so we have our first level second level third level so now, since you can see how close this third level is to almost being at the top, all we have to do is open it 
because once again, the three opened is almost equivalent to a four. As I explained to you with the notches, if you open it all the way up, you're at like $3.80, which is almost like a four. So all we're gonna do is take this three, opened all the way up, and as we come up to the crown, we're gonna go on till we hear the hair cut and then off. So on till we hear the hair cut, then off. Okay, now if you look at this closely, you can see how this is already starting to blend and then this is still bulky right here. Can you see that? The starting to blend and then still bulk in the back. And as I go here, slow, as you see it cutting, then we come off. On to as we come off. So it's cut here to uncut. Cut here to uncut. Cut to uncut. So all we're doing is coming up to the crown and we're coming off. Okay, so now you see the top is pretty much blended. There may be a little bit right here, but when we shear the top, shear over comb, this will blend right out. So if there's a little bit of bulkness, don't try to take the clippers up into it because then you could mess with your top. So now we're going to close it back to the three because remember we put that third line in with the three. And we're going to go through that. Now we're going to take this two, open it all the way up, because if we open it all the way up, that gets us as close to the three as possible. And we'll go right on up into that, that area where we had that three closed. So we're going to go on up. Close it about halfway. Go to just below that area. Make sure we're on our angle. Close it all the way. Once again, this is with our two. And these principles that I've been showing you, haircut after haircut, are fundamental fading principles. These are safety proof. It's almost impossible to make a mistake this way. In the future, I'll be coming out with, you know, some tutorials on advanced fading techniques where you'll pretty much do the same principles, but you can take shortcuts and different ways to get there. You won't have to go through every uh, safety proof step. You'll be able to skip over some steps and just um, use different angles and stuff to get that out. But if I tried to teach you that now, before you understood this fully, you'll get confused and then nobody gets anywhere. So make sure you practice this stuff first. Don't watch those other videos I'm gonna create until you've mastered these and then it all makes sense and then you just build on top of that. So now we took that, that two and we had it closed all the way. Now we're gonna open this one and a half about halfway. And we're gonna go right up into that that area just below the two. Once again, we're on that angle that I always talk about, that X motion angle. Then we're gonna close it all the way. Same thing, just below where we were at with the two. You don't want to go up too high. You go up too high, you create a whole nother mess, and you got to re re uh, repeat the process again. So once again, we put our levels in going up with all of the, the guards closed, because that's when we're putting in our permanent lens, our levels, and then we're opening and closing on our way down. So once again, as I talked about it before, it's like taking the elevator up, 
and you walk down the steps. That's about as simple as I can put it. Now we're going to take this one. And since we already had the one and a half on, we don't have to go all the way open. We just go to about half. So we're meeting this right at the one and a half. So we're just doing this. We're on an angle. Using about part of the blade, not the whole thing. Just part of it because we're just, you know, kind of trying to blend this out. So you don't necessarily want to use the whole blade. You just use in the corner because you just want to, you know, hit certain spots to, you know, reduce the bulk and get it to start to blend. Now, if you take a look at this pitch, picture in the back, this is what we started with. And you see how it's gradually fading in on that side. Now we're going to close it all the way. Come back using the corner on an angle. What we call is our X motion. And you can see how we had them nice thick lines at first. And now we're starting to get to the blend being completely done. Now we're taking that one off. And we're opening this back up because guess what? This is what we started with, correct? So now. That same first line we put in, we're on an angle, and we're taking that line out. That first line we put it in with. Now we're taking it out. Using just the corner. As you can start to see right there, it's blended out. Here we still got a little bit. So if you stepped back and looked at this from a from a far view, you might look at it and say, oh, that's blended. That's 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 pretty good. That's that's done. I don't really need to do nothing else. That's when you always revert back to that mirror and the mirror don't lie. It'll tell you what's wrong with your eye every single time. So you always just for principal purposes, you always want to make sure that you go back to what you started with. And just touch up. So now as we have a pretty good shot from the back, you see this is blended into the top pretty much. And then you have what we had at the beginning. As a test, as far as when you are trying to see how your picture really looks, you may want to just go ahead and put the line on it.